Hey guys, I'm about to pick up my Uber client. Let's get weird. Hi. All right. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, no, nothing. It's just... It's the... Okay. What's going on, everybody? It's King Touch Pro, and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, guys. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this really cool Instagram overlay, uh, kind of a shout out to either your own Instagram or somebody else's Instagram. I just thought this was a really cool uh, thing that you guys can do in Final Cut Pro 10 without using any other plugins. I took the Instagram logo and I pretty much separated each of the parts so that right here it zooms, uh, kind of zooms up and each of the parts kind of shows and then it goes away. First thing you want to do is you want to get your video. So I just used Adub's video. By the way, if you haven't uh, heard of Adub's, guys, she's hilarious. I suggest you guys check her content out. She's really funny. Trust me, guys, you will love her content. Um, I'll have her, her channel down in the description as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just select the first part of this video uh, just because, I don't know, just because I thought it's kind of cool. So I'm going to go and import that into the timeline here, and I'm going to mute the audio for now. And from what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into the background. So I'm going to go and add a white background. You guys can do whatever color you want, but I'm going to go into generators and I'm going to go into whites and drag that beneath the video. Then go into the inspector window, go to the generators and change the color from smoky to bright white. So I'm going to do that. And then from here, you want to click back on the video and you want to go to the inspector window. You want to go into, looks like the, yeah, the transform option. And you want to go into s position right here. So we're going to start adding keyframes. So whenever you add a keyframe, that's when you're going to animate. Whenever you add another keyframe, that's where you're going to stop, depending where you add your keyframes. So right now we want it to start. So we're going to add a keyframe. So we're going to go to position. We're going to click this plus icon and we're going to go a couple of frames in. I don't know, a couple of seconds in will do the trick. So something along like that, maybe a second. So about 30 frames. So from here, we're going to go to the transform tool. And if we go into the position right now, we have a position keyframe. We don't have a scale or anything like that. Uh, but once you start to move, you're going to see that you now have a red arrow, which means you have a keyframe enabled. Whenever you let go, that is gonna set a keyframe. Don't let go until you're sure. So I'm gonna go and move this all the way to the left here. So something like, something like that. So now if I go back, you can see now it's animated. That is a keyframe, all right? From a start to finish. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible for you guys in case you guys are beginning with Final Cut Pro 10, even though this tutorial might be a little bit advanced, but it's okay. Uh, anyway, so we, we're going from one point to the other point and that's a smooth transition or a smooth, a linear path. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our title. So we're gonna go into, make sure you click done, go to titles and go to basic title and drag that above the video clip. And then from here, what you wanna do is double click on the title, give it a name. I'm gonna name this, um, I'm gonna do this uh, at a dubs because that's her YouTube channel or her Instagram. Okay, and from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into go to the text and I'm gonna change the text to Franklin Gothic. So I'm gonna do that font and I'm gonna do the font uh, color to black. So I'm just moving the slider to black. I'm gonna press enter, uh, enter here. And I'm just moving this to where I think I, I would want the text, okay? Uh, so something like that would be pretty good. We're gonna add her Instagram uh, profile picture, which is this one. So I'm gonna drag that above into the effects here and we're gonna go into masks and shape mask and drag that directly onto that clip, okay? Now I'm going to move the, sh the uh, shape. So we're gonna go to curvature and we're gonna drag that to the right to make it kind of a circle. And then we're gonna drag this here, or sorry, this one here the one of the green circles inwards to kind of create a circle so it makes a circle all right and it masks everything else out of it so i can get a little bit more of her there we go perfect so now i have whoops let me go undo that now i have her once you guys are are set with her all you're going to do is click the transform tool 
and then you can move and scale and do whatever you want. So I'm gonna scale this. I'm gonna, I think it's above, right? Yeah, it's above. So something like this, okay? Once this is animated here, okay, so I'm gonna move this over a little bit. So once this is set like that, right here. So once this white part starts stops moving, that's where I want her to start appearing. So I'm gonna select her, the, the profile picture, and I'm going to pretty much move it from here up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this down first. I'm gonna click a, the uh, this diamond icon with a plus in it to create your first keyframe. Go a couple of frames inwards and then drag this up. And now you're gonna see a red arrow. Whenever you see a red arrow, that's a good thing. It means you're adding keyframes and that's what you want. So um, now if I go back, it's gonna look something like that. Now from here, I of course want it to appear. I don't, I don't want it to just go like that, right? So I'm gonna select it again. I'm gonna go into the opacity. I'm gonna bring this all the way down and add a keyframe. And then I'm gonna go, I don't know, here and then bring it up. So I'm just being, I'm just doing it randomly. So now it looks like this it looks a lot smoother and sweet. So we're done with that. So now we're gonna do the text next. So press V again to enable it. And we're, we're gonna have to move this down a little bit. So something like that. Okay, so now once we have that animated, we're gonna do the text next or her username. So we're gonna do the same exact thing, uh, but the only thing we're gonna do different is we're gonna do a mask. So we're gonna go into the masks. We're gonna go to draw mask and drag that directly onto the text or their username. So now we're gonna have this pen tool to add a control point. So we're gonna click here, 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 and then here, okay? What I like to do before that though is I like to make uh, make it straight so it's more linear. So hold down shift and click across, and then you can do something like this because it doesn't really matter at this point. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're going to animate this however you want. I'm gonna animate uh, this like that, all right? So that means I need to start it I need to start it without it showing. And it's gonna go like this. So I'm gonna add a keyframe. And to do that, we're gonna go into the inspector window in the video properties in the draw mask. And then we're gonna go into transforms and we're gonna click on the position tool. The reason I'm gonna do position instead of control points is because it's a lot easier and you skip a lot more steps. I'm gonna go out like this. And then I'm gonna drag this upwards. So now if I go in and I push play, it's gonna look something like that, which looks pretty neat. We're now gonna add the Instagram text logo. So this one here, just Google it, download it, and then import it. I'm gonna do that just above here. I'm now going to scale this down. Whoops, I'm gonna scale this down. And I'm gonna make this kind of small actually, cause I did it last time. And if it, if it helps to zoom in, please do so. Zoom into like 200%, like that, okay. And I'm gonna temporarily disable it, pressing V. And then I'm gonna start adding each of these points. Now this you guys will have to download in the description. Uh, and I just pretty much saved them as separate elements. And you will got you guys will know why right now. So if I click this one here and I drag it above, what we're doing is we're pretty much animating each one. All right, so, cause I, th I thought, I think that would be a lot more interesting, right? So I'm gonna click and drag this down and I'm gonna do something like this here. And then from here, what you wanna do is you wanna click done and then you want to go back to the beginning Then you want to go to scale and bring this all the way down so it's at zero. Then you wanna add a, a keyframe by clicking this uh, diamond icon. You know, go after a couple of seconds after it's shown and then you want to increase this. Click and drag and you can also do something like this. So something like that is perfect, so 8%. Now if I go back, and I show you this from the beginning. It's gonna look something like that, which looks pretty cool. So you wanna do that with each of the elements. So we're gonna go back to 200% and I'm gonna move this up. I'm gonna go into the inspector window. I'm gonna drag this one above here as well. And then I'm going to scale this. This one is centered here. So it's not too small or too big. It's kind of like in between. So something like that. So now we're also gonna animate that as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to zero. So go to scale, whoops, make sure it's at zero. Add a, a control point or a keyframe. Then go up a little bit like that. And once it stops, that's where you also want it to zoom in. So um, make sure it zooms in like that, where you think it's like that, there you go, eight, 9%. So now if I go back and push play, 
looks like that cool and then we're gonna do the same thing for this little last one and I know what you guys are probably thinking like can you just do this with the one Instagram logo yeah you could but um, I think this this gives you a little bit more control and gives you more practice with um, keyframes so I definitely learned a lot more use, uh, doing this technique than just using the whole Instagram logo and not its elements so do something like this all right and then I'm gonna it's gonna animate like that and then here I want to go to scale up at zero add a can add a keyframe for this little dot in the corner go a couple of frames um, inwards forwards I guess and then move this back to nine percent or eight percent maybe there we go, eight percent and then we're gonna select the Instagram elements Instagram logo elements we're gonna create a compound clip I'm just name this Instagram logo okay and then now we have this going on from here what I want to do is I want to move the Instagram logo to the left. Okay. 